praise the early waking breathers. In the name of God the most merciful, and the most compassionate. This is the fourth journey toward home, toward where the great advantages are waiting for us. Reading it, mystics will feel very happy, as a meadow feels when it hears, thunder, the good news of rain. Coming, as tired eyes look forward to sleeping. Joy for the spirit, health for the body. In here is W had genuine devotion wants, refreshment, sweet fruit right enough for the pickiest picker, medicine, detailed directions on how to get to the friend. All praise to God, here is the way to renew connection with your soul, and rest from difficulties. The study of this book will be painful to those who feel separate from God. It will make the others grateful. In the hold of this ship is a cargo not found in the attractiveness of young women. Here is a reward for lovers of God. A full moon and an inheritance you thought you had lost are now returned to you. More hope for the hopeful, lucky find. For foragers, wonderful things thought of to do. Anticipation after depression, expanding after contraction. The sun comes out, and that light is what we give, in this book, to our spiritual descendants. Our gratitude to God holds them to us, and brings more besides. As the Andalusian poet, Adi al Riga says, I was sleeping, and being comforted by a cool breeze, when suddenly a grey dove from a thicket sang and sobbed with longing, and reminded me of my own passion. I had been away from my own soul so long, so late sleeping, that that dove's crying woke me and made me cry. Praise to all early waking grievers. Some go first and others come long afterwards. God blesses both and all in the line, and replaces what has been consumed, and provides for those who work the soil of helpfulness, and blesses Muhammad and Jesus and every other messenger and prophet. Amen, and may the Lord of all created beings bless you. Jehi the Tavern Whoever brought me here will have to take me home. On the tavern. In the tavern are many wines, the wine of delight in color and form and taste, the wine of the intellect's ability, the fine court of stories, and the cabernet of soul singing. Being human means entering this place where entrancing varieties of desire are served. The great skin of ego breaks and a pouring begins. Fermentation is one of the oldest symbols for human transformation. When grapes combine their juice and are closed up together for a time in a dark place, the results are spectacular. This is what lets two drunks meet so that they don't know who is who. Pronouns no longer apply in the tavern's mud world of excited confusion and half-articulated wanting. But after some time in the tavern, a point comes, a memory of elsewhere, a longing for the source, and the drunks must set off from the tavern and begin the return. The Quran says, we are all returning. The tavern is a kind of glorious hell that human beings enjoy and suffer and then push off from in their search for truth. The tavern is a dangerous region where sometimes disguises are necessary, but never hide your heart, Rumi urges. Keep open there. A breaking of heart, a crying out into the street begins in the tavern, and the human soul turns to find its way home. It's 4 a.m., Nasreddin leaves the tavern and walks the town aimlessly. A policeman stops him. Why are you out wandering the streets in the middle of the night? Sir, replies Nasreddin, if I knew the answer to that question, I would have been home hours ago. 
WHO says words with my mouth. All day I think about it, then at night I say it. Where did I come from, and what am I supposed to be doing? I have no idea, my soul is from elsewhere, I'm sure of that, and I intend to end up there. This drunkenness began in some other cavern. When I get back around to that place, I'll be completely sober. Meanwhile, I'm like a bird from another continent, sitting in this aviary. The day is coming when I fly off, but who is it now in my ear who hears my voice? Who says words with my mouth? Who looks out with my eyes? What is the soul? I cannot stop asking. If I could taste one sip of an answer, I could break out of this prison for drunk. I didn't come here of my own accord, and I can't leave that way. Whoever brought me here will have to take me home. This poetry, I never know what I'm going to say. I don't plan it. When I'm outside the saying of it, I get very quiet and rarely speak at all. We have a huge barrel of wine, but no cup. That's fine with us. Every morning we grow and in the evening we grow again. They say there's no future for us. They're right, which is fine with us. 2. A community of the spirit. There is a community of the spirit. Join it, and feel the delight of walking in the noisy street, and being the noise. Drink all your passion, and be a bit brave. Close both eyes to see with the other eye. Open your hands, if you want to be held. Sit down in this circle. Quit acting like a wolf, and feel the shepherd's love filling you. At night, your beloved wanders. Don't accept consolation. Close your mouth against food. Taste the lover's mouth in yours. You moan. She left me. She left me. Twenty more will come. Be empty of worrying. Think of who created God. Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? Move outside the tangle of fear thinking. Live in silence. Slow down and down in always widening rings of being. 3. There's a strange frenzy in my head, of birds flying, each particle circulating on its own. It's the one I love everywhere. Drunks fear the police, but the police are drunk too. People in this town love them both like different chess pieces. A children's game. Listen to the poet and I, who is secluded. Don't wander out on the road in your ecstasy. Sleep in the tavern. When a drunk strays out to the street, children make fun of him. Elay falls down in the mud. He takes any and every road. The children follow, not knowing the taste of wine or how his drunkenness feels. All people on the planet are children, except for a very few. No one is grown up except those free of desire. God said, The world is a play, a children's game, and you are the children. God speaks the truth. If you haven't left the child's play, how can you be an adult? Without purity of spirit, if you're still in the middle of lust and greed, or, and other wanting, you're like children playing at sexual intercourse. They wrestle and rub together, but it's not sex. The same with the sightings of mankind. It's a squabble with play swords. No purpose, totally futile. Like kids on hobby horses, soldiers claim to be riding Barak, Muhammad's night horse, or Dolo, his mule. Your actions mean nothing, but sex and war that you do. You're holding part of your pants and prancing around. 
Done da done. Done da done. Don't wait till you die to see this. Recognize that your imagination and your thinking and your sense perception are retained as children cut and pretend are horses. The knowing of mystic lovers is different. The empirical, sensory, sciences are like a donkey loaded with books, or like the makeup woman's makeup. It washes off, but if you lift the baggage rightly, it will give joy. Don't carry your knowledge load for some selfish reason. Deny your desires and willfulness, and a real mound may appear under you. Don't be satisfied with the name of FIU, with just words about it. Experience this breathing. From books and words come fantasy, and sometimes, from fantasy comes union. Dawn, inner and outer, no moon, no ground or sky. 5. Don't hand me another glass of wine. Pour it in my mouth. I've lost the way to my mouth. The wine we really drink is our own blood. Our bodies ferment in these barrels. We give everything for a glass of this. We give our minds for a sip. The many wines. God has given us a dark wine so potent that, drinking it, we leave the two worlds. God has put into the form of hashish a power to deliver the taster from self-consciousness. God has made sleep so that it erases every thought. God made Madman love Layla so much that just her dog would cause confusion in him. There are thousands of wines that can take over our minds. Don't think all ecstasies are the same. Jesus was lost in his love for God. His donkey was drunk with barley. Drink from the presence of saints, not from those other jars. Every object, every being, is a jar full of delight. 6. Be a connoisseur. And taste with caution. Any wine will get you high. Just like a king, and choose the purest, the ones unadulterated with fear, or some urgency about, what's needed. Drink the wine that moves you as a camel moves when it's been untied, and is just ambling about. Special place. Notice how each particle moves. Notice how everyone has just arrived here from a journey. Notice how each wants a different tool. Notice how the stars vanish as the sun comes up, and how all streams stream toward the ocean. Look at the chefs preparing special plates for everyone, according to what they need. Look at this cup that can hold the ocean. Look at those who see the face. Look through Sham's eyes into the water that is entirely jewels. Burnt kebab. Last year, I admired wine. This, I'm wandering inside the red world. Last year, I gazed at the fire. This year I'm burnt kebab. Thirst drove me down to the water where I drank the moon's reflection. Now I am a lion staring up totally lost in love with the thing itself. Don't ask questions about longing. Look in my face. So drunk, body ruined, these two sit helpless in a wrecked wagon. Neither knows how to fix it. In my heart, I say it is more like a donkey sunk in a mud hole, struggling and miring deeper. But listen to me, for one moment, quit being sad. Your blessings dropping their blossoms around you. God. The new rule. It's the old rule that drunks have to argue and get into fights. The lover is just as bad. He falls into a hole. But down in that hole he finds something shining, worth more than any amount of money or power. Last night the moon came dropping its clothes in the street. 
I took it as a sign to start singing, falling up into the gold sky. The gold breaks. Everywhere is falling everywhere. Nothing else to do. Here's the new rule. Break the wine glass and fall toward the glass blower's breath. This bit is tormented and very tired, tortured with restraints like a madman, this hard. Still you keep breaking the shell to get the taste of its kernel. 8. 2. K. He bewilderment. I have five things to say. On bewilderment. At the verge of Sultana annihilation in God, there seems to be a region of sweet confusion, the sense of being in many places at once saying multiple sentences. A hazy melting, fragile and nearly blank. Profound ignorance within which conventional, calm behavior seems insane. Rumi's poems are not well trimmed, Persian miniature gardens. They are more like, as scholar Anne-Marie Schimmel says, the paintings in the Turcoman style full of abrupt movement, odd flowers and bushes, demons and talking animals. I have five things to say. The waiting lover speaks directly to the beloved, you are the sky my spirit circles in, the love inside love, the resurrection place. Let this window be your ear. I have lost consciousness many times with longing for your listening silence and your life quickening smile. You give attention to the smallest matters, my suspicious doubts, and to the greatest. You know my coins are counterfeit, but you accept them anyway, my impudence and my pretending. 9. I have five things to say, five fingers to give into your grace. First, when I was apart from you, this world did not exist, nor any other. Second, whatever I was looking for was always you. Third, why did I ever learn to count to three? Fourth, my cornfield is burning. Fifth, this finger stands for radia, and this is for someone ELSE. Is there a difference? Are these words or tears? Is weeping speech? What shall I do, my love? So he speaks, and everyone around begins to cry with him, laughing crazily, moaning in the spreading union of lover and beloved. This is the true religion. All others are thrown away bandages beside it. This is the theme of slavery and mastery dancing together. This is not being, neither words, nor any natural facts can express this. I know these dancers. Day and night I sing their songs in this phenomenal cave. My soul, don't try to answer now. Find a friend, and hide. So, but what can stay hidden? Love's secret is always lifting its head out from under the covers. Here I am. Acts of helplessness. Here are the miracle signs you want. That you cry through the night and get up at dawn, asking that in the absence of what you ask for your day gets dark. Your next sin is a spindle, that what you give away is all you own, that you sacrifice belonging, sleep, health, your head, that you often sit down in a fire like aloe's wood, and often go out to meet a blade like a battered helmet. When acts of helplessness become habitual, those are the signs. But you run back and forth listening for unusual events, peering into the faces of travelers. Why are you looking at me like a madman? I have lost a friend. Please forgive me. Searching like that does not fail. There will come a rider who holds you close. You faint and gibber. The uninitiated say, he's faking. How could they know? Water washes over a beached fish, the water of those signs I just mentioned. 
Excuse my wandering. How can one be orderly with this? It's like counting leaves in a garden, along with the song notes of partridges and crows. Sometimes organization and computation become absurd. Aye aye. Saladin's begging bowl. Of these 2,000, I, and, we, people, which am I? Don't try to keep me from asking. Listen, when I'm this out of control. But don't put anything breakable in my way. There is an original inside me. What here is a mirror for that, for you? If you are joyful, I am. If you grieve, or if you're bitter, or graceful, I take on those qualities. Like the shadow of a cypress tree in the meadow, like the shadow of a rose, I live close to the rose. If I separated myself from you, I would turn entirely thorn. Every second, I drink another cup of my own blood wine. Every instant, I break an empty cup against your door. I reach out, wanting you to tear me open. Saladin's generosity lights a candle in my chest. Who am I then? His empty begging bowl. Slave, by myself, in the boat of myself, no light and no land anywhere, clouds cover thick. I try to stay just above the surface, yet I'm already under and living within the ocean. 12. This sunset sometimes looks like the sun's coming up. Do you know what a faithful love is like? You're crying. You say you've burned yourself. But can you think of anyone who's not hazy with smoke? Be melting snow. Totally conscious. And apropos of nothing, you come to see me. Is someone here? I ask. The moon. The full moon is inside your house. My friends and I go running out into the street. I'm in here, comes a voice from the house, but we aren't listening. We're looking up at the sky. My pet nightingale sobs like a drunk in the garden. Ring up scatter with small cries. Where? Where? It's midnight. The whole neighborhood is up and out in the street thinking, the cat burglar has come back. The actual thief is there too, saying out loud, yes, the cat burglar is somewhere in this crowd. No one pays attention. Hello, I am what you always mean when you look for God. God is in the look of your eyes, in the thought of looking, nearer to you than yourself, are things that have happened to you there's no need to go outside. Be melting snow, wash yourself of yourself, a white flower grows in the quietness, let your tongue become that flower. 13. The Fragile Vial I need a mouth as wide as the sky to say the nature of a true person, language as large as longing. The fragile vial inside me often breaks. No wonder I go mad and disappear for three days every month with the moon. For anyone in love with you, it's always these invisible days. I've lost the thread of the story I was telling. My elephant roams the dream of Hindustan again. Narrative, poetic, destroyed, my body, a dissolving, a return. Friend, I've shrunk the hair trying to say your story. Would you tell mine? I've made up so many love stories. Now I feel fictional. Tell me, the truth is, you are speaking, not me. I am Sinai, and you are Moses walking there. This poetry is an echo of what you say. A piece of land can't speak, or know anything. Or if it can, only within limits. The body is a device to calculate the astronomy of the spirit. Look through that astrolabe and become oceanic. Why this distracted talk? 
It's not my fault I rage. You did this. Do you approve of my love madness? Say yes. What language will you say it in? Arabic or Persian, or what? Once again, I must be tied up. 14. Bring the curly ropes of your hair. Now I remember this story. A true man stares at his old shoes and sheepskin jacket. Every day he goes up to his attic to look at his work shoes and worn out coat. This is his wisdom, to remember the original play and not get drunk with ego and arrogance. To visit those shoes and jacket is praise. The absolute work was nothing. The workshop, the materials are what does not exist. Try and be a sheet of paper with nothing on it. Be a spot of ground where nothing is growing, where something might be planted, a seed, possibly, from the absolute. Where are we? An invisible bird flies over, the cat's a quick shadow. What is the body? That shadow of a shadow of your love, that somehow contains the entire universe. A man sleeps heavily, though something blazes in him like the sun, like a magnificent fringe sewn up under the hem. He turns under the covers. Any image is a lie, a clear red stone case sweet. You kiss a beautiful mouth, and a key turns in the lock of your fear. A spoken sentence sharpens to a fine edge. 15. A mother goes looks for her nest, asking where, who, where, who, where the lion lies down, where any man or woman goes to cry, where the sick go when they hope to get well, where a wind lifts that helps with winnowing, and, the same moment, sends a ship on its way. Where anyone says only God is real, not who, where beyond where, a bright weaver's shuttle flashes back and forth, east-west, where are we? Matu, Matu, like the sun saying where are we, as it leaves with the asking. The friend comes into my body looking for the center, unable to find it, draws a blade, strikes anywhere. There is a light seed grain inside. You fill it with yourself, or its size. I'm caught in this curling energy. Your hair, whoever's calm and sensible is insane. Do you think I know what I'm doing? That for one breath or half breath I belong to myself. As much as a pen knows what it's writing, or the ball can guess where it's going next. I fix. 3. Percent emptiness and silence. The night air. On silence. In Persian poetry the poet often refers to himself or herself by name at the end of a poem as a sort of signature. Rumi's variation on this is to refer instead to sham, over a thousand poems end this way, or to silence. He gives the poetry to its true authorship including the emptiness after is part of the poem. 500 odes conclude with the mood, silence. Rumi is less interested in language, more attuned to the source of the bit. He keeps asking Newsom, who's making this music? He sometimes gives the wording over to the invisible flute player, let that musician finish his poem. Words are not important in themselves, but as resonators for a center. Rumi has a whole theory of language based on the reed flute made beneath everything you say, and within each note of the reed flute, lies a nostalgia for the reed bed. Language and music are possible only because we're empty, hollow, and separated from the source. All language is a longing for home. Why is there not a second tonality? He uses, 
A note in praise of the craftsman's skill, which fashioned his air cylinder into a name, the intricate human form with its nine holes. The Reef Flute Song. Listen to the story told by the Reef.